The proponents of intelligent design, or creationism, who say it's only fair to consider their ideas, have a very curious idea of what fairness is because they're not interested in developing evidence. They're not interested in engaging in this process of peer review, of publishing their work, of going to scientific meetings and trying to win a scientific consensus. In effect, what they want to do is to do an end run around the entire scientific process by appealing to boards of edu education or legislatures to insert their ideas into the classroom even though they haven't won a scientific consensus. So you have to ask yourself, what's fair about that? That every other idea in science has to fight its way through the criticism and analysis of the scientific process, but these ideas claim that they want to be exempt from that process in the name of fairness. In reality, what they're asking people to do is to cheat on the process of science and give them a shortcut that will get into classroom and textbook. That would be very bad science policy and be even worse in terms of educational policy.